shorty tail, long tail, shorty tail, long tail with single seat, long tail with double seat, long tail with luggage rack, bag, and pannier side bags. Back to the shorty tail. Hey, how's it going? So today I have another little project, another little customization I want to make on the Continental. And this is something I had mentioned a few months ago that I wanted to do when I did the short tail conversion on this bike. So a few months ago I did the MK Designs shorty tail conversion where you cut the frame, put on the short tail, put in the LED lights, and I also put in these extra little supplemental LED lights on the side here, turn signal lights. And at the time when I cut the longer tail off with the full size tail lights, turn signals, I said I wanted to keep the full size tail to make it swappable. When I cut this off to save the whole back as one unit, one piece, and then do a little bit of modification to it. So like the short tail, I would be able to take the short tail off and then slide this whole piece back in. So the idea is to be able to easily pull off the short tail and then put back on the full size tail. Reason being, this looks great. I love the way the short tail looks. It's exactly the look I'm going for on the bike, but it's not always very convenient, uh, especially if you want to do some trips. And I'd like to be able to start doing some longer trips, maybe a little bit of camping, and to be able to put bags on the bike and have the rack back on the bike. And to do that, I'll need to put the long tail back on. So here's my idea. Okay, so here's my idea. Obviously I have the short tail on here. Here is the original full size piece. So we'll be able to take this off and then slide this on. Uh, obviously when I do this, it's not to support the weight of a person. I'm not gonna put the full size seat on. It's just enough, make it strong enough to be able to handle bags and also to be able to put this rack back here, again, back on the bike. And so I already do have it set up where if we take this side panel off and pop off the seat and you see the short tail is connected with just these two bolts. So undo these two bolts, slide this out and be able to swap the new one on. Now the wiring harness, I can unplug the wiring harness here uh, but two things, unfortunately right now, the way I have it set up, these supplemental little side turn signals are wired directly into the short tail. So if I pull the short tail off, the wires go right here and obviously these things are bolted on, so I wouldn't be able to take it off. Uh, so I'm gonna have to change the wiring a little bit so that way these stay, can stay connected even when I pull out the short tail. And also this wiring, if I'm going to be plugging things in, unplugging, plugging in, unplugging. There could be a good chance of a failure point, meaning some of these wires might be a little bit loose and I don't want to swap it out and do something that might blow my turn signals or my tail lights and cause any kind of problem. So I did get some new wiring harnesses and these things are a little bit bigger. So that way it'll probably be easier to plug in and unplug as needed. So I'll put a new um, harness on the tail piece, a new harness here on the stock, the original tail. Now, obviously the other thing I have to do with this tail piece is we have this one inch pipe that goes into the pipes. So I'm gonna need some sort of coupling to be able to connect in. Um, I looked for couplings that would fit. I couldn't really find anything. So what I did was I do have this one inch pipe that I'm gonna to cut to be able to slide in but obviously a one inch pipe can't go into a one inch pipe. So my idea is to cut this pipe to the size I need and then put a slit in it. So hopefully the slit will allow me to compress it just a bit to be able to slide in and out and keep a nice tight fit. But right now you can see I have it already set up with just these wing nuts. So it only takes a few seconds to unscrew and then be able to slide this whole tail right off. And like I said, I wanna change the harness to make it easier, probably have it pass over the top so that way I can easily swap this off and put on the stock tail. All right, let's cut this thing up and see if we can make a coupling.
All right, now I'm just gonna cut a little T-shape into this so that way I can compress this part to be able to fit into the tailpiece and then this will go into the motorcycle frame. All right, hopefully that will work. Let's give it a try. So I have got these in and took a hammer to get these things in so they're in there nice and tight. Uh, I still might drill a hole and put a screw on each side just to make sure they don't come out. So now we should be able to pop off See, use two hands. Take off the short tail. And this should now slide right in there, like that. And put the two screws right through here. Uh, this is plastic, I am going to reinforce. I'm gonna drill through, put metal uh, kind of washers in there and reinforce it a little bit but this The post should hold it. I mean they're pretty strong. They're not going anywhere and then the screws to hold it in place just so it doesn't shake out Just so it doesn't slide out of place uh, And I think it should be good All right, so I've got this done. I put on a new wiring harness on the bike and I put on a new wiring harness for the short tail. It has this little weather stripping, so it should make a nice tight seal. And I got it done on the new matching wiring harness on the long tail. So I just want to test them out, make sure they're working correctly. So it should be as simple as just sliding in and then plugging in the harness and I'm not gonna put the two bolts in right now because I just want to swap it out make sure the lights are working so yep tail light brake light right And then to swap, I should just be able to unplug the harness, slide that out, and let's test the full size tail. Slide it in. That should go up like that. And then plug it in wiring harness, turn that on, we've got tail light, brake light, left turn signal, right turn signal, and we also do have the uh, plate light. All good. So now what I want to do is put on the racks, the bags, the seat, everything just to see how it all fits and I will put in the bolts. With the bolts is it just, with the wing nut, go under there, put on a washer, that. 
So now we'll just see how fast we can do a change. Pop the seat off. Unscrew the bolts. I think the trickiest part will just be not dropping the bolts. When you do it, unclip the harness, remove the tail, swap in. long tail, plug in the harness, and then slide in the bolts. figure out probably a little bit better way to position the wire. And there we go. All done. So the only thing left I really have to do is figure out a quick switch for the license plate so I can switch between this tail and the full size tail. And I have an idea for that. Just do it. Okay, give me a beat. Short tail single seat, long tail single seat with cowl, long tail double seat, long tail single seat with luggage rack, long tail with luggage rack and bag, long tail with luggage rack, bag and pan your side bag, short tail single seat, short tail single seat, long tail single seat with cowl, long tail double seat, long tail single seat with luggage rack, long tail with luggage rack and bag, long tail with luggage rack, bag and pan your side bag, short tail single seat. Short tail single seat, long tail single seat with cowl, long tail double seat, long tail single seat with luggage rack, long tail with luggage rack and bag, long tail with luggage rack bag and pan your side bag, short tail single seat.